Singapore contestants in MasterChef Asia. This is Leon. Why Leon? This is Leon. And Leonard. Hello. Alright, so hi guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to this ride. Right? Um, the feeling is really different now. Why? Because um, at least now they are your friend. Before that, you know. <laughs> they weren't really a friend at all. <laughs> they were breathing down your neck. Are you sure this is true? Yeah. <laughs> At least today they don't say you're out. You're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least they won't say that, right? Okay. No one's gonna go home today. All of you are gonna go home today. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's nice. So I'm sure that you guys will get together as friends later, take some pictures, right? Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. Now, Leonard, one question for you. How would you rate the competition that you had over the series? Like all the other contestants on set. How from one to ten, how would how difficult do you think? Was the competition? I think it was a 10 out of 10 because like 10 out of 10. Uh, all the other contestants are incredible home cooks, and you know we all had to go through like multiple rounds of auditions. So like everyone that makes it to the final 15, uh, including they, yourself, including myself, uh, you know we all have different strengths and weaknesses. All right. Yeah. So it was very difficult, you would say. It's always difficult. It's always difficult, especially with the stress and the being on the show and all that. Yeah. So, but you know what? Today we're gonna have a very nice casual session, aren't we? Today is not going to be that much of a stress about it because in this case, that was a bit worried about the crowd. But don't worry, the crowd is always behind you guys. Right guys? Yeah? Okay. So, what we're going to do now is that we're going to have uh, the classic mystery box challenge. Like as though you guys haven't had enough. 10, 9, 8, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, half an hour. You're gonna see how quick that goes, you know, by the time you think about what you have to do to organize yourself, to make it happen and to put that nicely into the plate, half an hour, half an hour is the blink of an eye, you know. It's plenty of time, but you have to think about what you want to cook along the way as well. Uh, the ginger. Uh, appetizer. Yeah. Whatever you want it to be. Cooking a lot from your Thai, Thai and your Chinese background, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, you always fall back to where you come from. Yeah, so hopefully the flavors will work well with each other. Yeah. So is this when you want us to leave you alone now? Okay. <laughs> so Sandrine, are there things that you wish that you can have here, which is not here right now? I know you use a lot of Southeast Asian Thai. Thai have full of ingredients. What is missing right now? I don't see anything that's red. <laughs> What is that? Hello? But I noticed your lips are very red. <laughs> Alright, wow. Leonard, we have some dough here. But, wow. Leonard, you've made a mess already and you haven't even started. He spilled water all over the ground. You know, that, that would be, uh, you know, uh, Leonard, that would be part of the judging. You know, if you're making a mess, that would <laughs> disgrace your marking. You know that. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Sometimes you, you know messy is sexy, right? Exactly. Cross contaminate. Yeah. That is something really intelligent about. You know, when you when you cook, right, sometimes uh, you, you don't want to keep changing your body and flip the other side. Great thinking. You got another extra mark for but that. But you know what? This one to meth great, you know, the, the lime juice into the, into the salad, doesn't it? Salad should always be um, flavorful rather than just um, put together in the last five minutes. Yeah, good thinking, good thinking. Yeah. So, Sandrine, how, how do you feel about this uh, kitchen today to compare MasterChef Asia kitchen? <clears throat> it's really small. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you feel like you're cooking, uh, like cooking at home? Um, I think my house is slightly bigger than this. <laughs> Hey, Susa, we are not that mean to them on the show. They get big bench space, don't they? No, no, that's why everybody has to watch this. Mocha, a pestle, and palm off my way. Yeah, that's the time I start cooking. Wow. Well, How old was that? Okay, I... Yeah, yeah, I was... Sounds I was, like you just I, got I walking. same question. <laughs> How old were you? When you start? I, I think um, around five. Wow. 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 We, we got Give something. A round of Probably here. That, that's, that's, child like that. that's child labor. That's child labor. 
Leon, when did you start cooking? I started cooking, uh, I don't know, like 10, 12 years old. Um, I was, well, not really cooking, I just helped my mom in the kitchen. Yeah, help her in the kitchen. Just keep her company in the kitchen and we just went from there. <laughs> Look at that, Audra's helping you out with the cooking no, no, too. No, 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 no,
All right, so what do you think? Well, you know, uh, all this work for one bite is totally worth it. You know, <laughs> I, I can taste the la last fresh ginger you had on. You know, you just make a little julienne on the top. That really breaks that uh, note of making very fresh, very savory, at the same time give you a very good appetite. Really nice, and I can taste the sweet and sour balance, not so sour, not so sweet, and also the scrambled eggs. That is brilliant. Great job, Sandrian. Thank you. A round of applause for Sandrian, everybody. Come on. Yeah, but it's, you know, scrambled eggs are so easy to get it dry and well. They're so moist. The herbs inside, the herbs inside, everything inside. Wow. 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 I love it. Wow. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Who would have known, who would have known scrambled eggs would be so but delectable in a dish like that? Yeah. But that's the thing. We can take humble dishes or humble ingredients. Like into something that, like that. And taste like that, right? That's some now you're my inspiration, Sandria. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on to Leonard's dish. So, with the camera, focus on the dish over there. We're gonna see the judges try it all out. Okay, so everything as well. Okay, at least you can take bites off it. <laughs> so service is like, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has something to say. As you can see, uh, Sandrian is over, over at Liang's side trying his dish as well. Too bad there's no leftovers of Sandrian's food for the others to try. <laughs> no, will there be leftovers from Leonard? Oh really? Then are you trying to say something about Liang's food then? Why is there so much leftovers for Liang's food? <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll, take, we'll get that Liang Leonard, you know what? This taco, you really brought me to Mexico. But not just Mexico, you brought me to Oaxaca, which is like the best cuisine in, uh, in Mexico. So you know what? This is awesome. I like that the, uh, the mayonnaise you use here, lobster, I mean the shrimp oil, you really gives a very intensity taste, but very light at the same time. And also the taco, just first uh, perfectly, the, the taco crispy and soft. Yeah, Great job. Right. It's amazing. The taco is amazing. The consistency of the taco, you put all that in your mouth, open, the shop here, do that. Those guys gonna line up because they did their test, they want to test, and you should test that. Guarantee you that. Do you guys want Leonard over at a taco shop? His way. Yeah! 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 Well, it's not just a taco shop you want from no. Leonard, I guess. I mean, Leonard, Leonard has a really nice to show. To find and, out. And because, like, yes, here, here, here. indeed. It's all good. Alright, so maybe, you tell you what, deliberate. you deliberate and you can hand the microphones over to the contestants and I'll get the contestants to come to the front over here if you don't mind, just join us at the front over here and so that we can, uh, let her take the sister's mic, thank you. Alright, so judges, I'll leave you there and you can decide, uh, contestants, look at the amount of effort they put into cooking that dish half an hour intense cooking you can see them perspiring hopefully none of the, the perspiration i'm sure you do he's just small the lights you know? it's more the, yeah the lights are really warm too but i'm sure you get that a lot as well in the main studio oh yeah yeah oh, lots of lights lots of cameras all over right okay so now let's just talk a little bit more about the show again if you don't mind um does this bring you back to the memories of the show, like the first time you took part, can you share with us your experience there? Um, yeah, the first time you walk into the MasterChef Asia Kitchen, it kind of takes you back. Um, I mean, if you're ever a fan of the show, uh, you know that every single MasterChef Kitchen is yep. different. Yep. But there are, there are features that just shout MasterChef. And you look, at the, you look at the pantry, you look at the equipment rack, you see the rows and rows of benches, and you know that, wow, you know, I really am on this show. Sandrin, how difficult was the whole filming process? Uh, did you all have to do one competition a day uh, for a few days in a row? Or? Um, I would say it was intense. Very intense. Yeah. Um, no time to rest. It was basically like studying for 10 years series. <laughs> studying for 10 years yeah. series, okay. I suppose you have children who are about that age right now. That's oh, what. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. But um, it was really intense and uh, I don't think uh, you know, we could find this out situation again 
Anywhere. Anywhere. But your husband is giving that situation to you every day still, right? Like, yeah, your 30 minute challenge starts now. Yeah, but that one I can use something to whack. Oh, no, good. Okay, once again, domestic affairs, we will not go there. But I'm sure you two are a loving couple, it seems that way. And I think food has a lot to do with it, isn't it? Yes. Okay, lucky man you are. Okay, and Leonard, can you tell, tell us in, throughout the whole entire process, it must be very stressful, right? Okay, and could you tell us a bit more like who, who or which group of people were your pillar of support during the whole uh, series? Uh, I gotta say, I think it's the 14 other contestants because uh, they are the ones who really kind of know what you're going through and you're kind of together with them uh, and uh, we're all stressing You're all together. in this together. Exactly, yeah. So we're all like suffering together. <laughs> so did it feel emotional when some of the contestants uh, had to leave the show and everything like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it's always sad to see a friend go. Um, but you know, that, that is the nature of the competition and uh, it is. It, it, it's tough, but you can see everyone at the, at the end, uh, so, which, which is a nice, uh, really? nice surprise. Yeah, yeah okay. Alright, so let's give them a round of applause everybody. Thank you so much too. We're uh, we ready actually. you got to what? No, You're we ready? Are, we okay. are ready. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Whoa, whoa. What's we, up? We are ready. We have the shirt you know as well. Give him, give him a chance to take a photo. Look at that. Oh yeah. Church. Because that's where everybody starts checking, you know? Yes. When we take the church and we have to set the church on. Okay. Alright, so let's... Take that so, so, our judges have decided the winner of this mini mystery box challenge. Judges, at the count of three, please say the name of the winner. No, 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 I think it's nice also to be able to tell these guys why they've won. Okay, um, okay, okay. So it's 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 an, it's kind of an educational show, and the show is all about mentoring these aspiring yes, chefs, yes, right? Indeed. Who want to improve. So if they do something that's not as good, we right. we sort of help them out and tell right. them why, okay. how they can improve it. Okay. But then sometimes when they do something that's so damn good, we don't have to say anything. Got it. Got it. Okay. So yes. being sour, there was a bit of heat, bitter. Um, everything was there. Everything and pretty. Was there. And pretty. Very pretty. Very and pretty. Cute. And very cute. And cute. And cute. And, yes. cute. and the humble element of this dish goes to show that you can use very humble dishes or humble elements of dishes to make an incredibly good looking dish. The winner is... Sandrian! So, Sandrian is the winner of this mystery box challenge here at next. Alrighty, okay. So, so basically, you already said why uh, her dish had to win because of the many.